Today we will talk about the different types of symmetry. In geometry, when we talk about symmetry, a simple way of explaining it is how can I transform this figure so that it lands back on top of itself? So what I mean by that, let's go over these. First we have, if you zoom in, line symmetry. Line symmetry is, can I fold this piece of paper so that the left side matches the right side? In this case, if you were to fold this triangle, fold it over the line that I just drew, this side of the triangle on the left will go on top of the right side. That is called line symmetry. Next, I'll drop over here rotation symmetry is how many degrees can I rotate this so that it lands back on top of itself. <coughs> right. So let me do a quick tracing of this figure. to show you rotational symmetry. All right, so I take this sun, can I rotate it along the middle so that it goes, it lines back up? There you go. That's one way I can keep going and rotating another. See how my trace, my tracing goes back on top of the original. That's called rotational symmetry. Now, for rotational symmetry, we can figure out how many degrees we rotate. A full circle going all the way around is 360 degrees. So what we can do is take 360 degrees and divide it by how many even parts we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 equal sides. So 360 divided by 8 to get me 45. What this means is to get from this top part, to get this top part over to this side. And let me show you. From here to there is a 45 degree turn. That's 45 degrees. Last point is point symmetry. Point symmetry is a special type of rotation symmetry. So, this is a special type of rotation symmetry. More specifically, it is a 180 degree rotation. Meaning, if I take this letter N and I rotate it 180 degrees, and I'm going to physically rotate my paper, it still looks the same. That means we can turn it upside down and it should still look the same. Alright, so let me cover a few examples of symmetries here. Number one, we have a hexagon. And we are to figure out what kind of symmetries it has. First, line symmetry. We can cut this down the middle this way. Also for line symmetry, let me cut this down the middle. This is called a vertical line symmetry. We can also cut it down the middle. This is a horizontal line of symmetry, meaning if I fold this paper up this way, both sides match. And one more way that's harder for people to see, there is a diagonal line of symmetry. I can go this way. Or sometimes we call it slant symmetry, slant line. Meaning if I take this paper and fold it down that way. Diagonals are harder to see because we're not used to seeing things sideways. So my advice for a diagonal line of symmetry 
if I turned my paper this way. Now it's more apparent that I have a left side matching a right side. So there's my slant symmetry. This shape also has a point symmetry. I can take this hexagon upside down, looks the same hexagon. And rotational symmetry. I can take this hexagon right here on my paper and turn it around 60 degrees. Because 360 divided by 6 gets me 60 degrees. <clears throat> so one of the things we may ask is, do I have a line symmetry, reflection symmetry? If I do, which kind? Vertical, horizontal, slant? See which ones apply. Next one I want to cover is number three right here. A parallelogram can be tricky because the tendency for most is to say, oh, we can fold it along this line. And that's the most common answer I see. So to illustrate that, here's my parallelogram. Taking this parallelogram, there's my slant line. If I fold along there, it does, it does not match up. Here's my parallelogram. Here's my other slant line. Doesn't match up. So, a parallelogram does not have a slant symmetry. Be careful of that. What it does have is point symmetry. The parallelogram looks the same as it is upside down. Alright, a few more examples I want to cover. Here we have the star. It has line symmetry. We can go down this way. And most people will stop there. But it also has a slant symmetry, a diagonal symmetry, if the line goes this way. And the way I describe slant symmetry, because this one's harder to see, is just like with the earlier question. Imagine that this was the top of your star. I'm going to move it like that. If this was the top of your star, now it's easier to see. Left side, right side. Versus here, it's harder for people to see upper left matching lower right in a diagonal line. All right, this weird shape has point symmetry. It looks the same upside down. Let me flip my paper upside down. Sometimes we can also look at symmetries for letters. Letter A. The symmetry down the line. All right, one of the few things, last few things I want to cover. A playing card. All right. Whenever I ask this question, I have quite a number of students who tell me that it has a line symmetry down this way. But if you fold along a vertical or a horizontal line, excuse me, this heart gets folded to that side. And yes, you have to pay attention to the pattern inside, the design. I've also had a few tell me there's a vertical line of symmetry this way. But again, if you fold, this heart folds over here. It doesn't match. What it does have is a point symmetry. And playing cards, I'll use this jack as an example. Playing cards are meant to be held upside down or can be held upside down. It looks the same. So this is an example of something with a more complex design but still has point symmetry. All right. One last thing I would like to cover, and let me go to my board for this, is the letter K. So I'm making special note of the letter K. Because the letter K changes depending on how you write it. 
Some people write K this way, some write this way. And it's the same for fonts on a computer when you're typing. Some Ks look like this, some Ks look like this. If the K looks like this, then yes, there is a horizontal symmetry that way. Bottom part folds over the top. If the K looks like this, then no, there is no symmetry. So my best advice for symmetry is really just practicing. Look at all these different pictures and get some practice with it and see if you can figure out what kind of symmetries we have.